We're going to find a minimum sample size to run a MANOVA, a multiple analysis variance. That means more than one dV. And it's strictly between group using the G-Power software. Come on up, Mr. G-Power. So a MANOVA is the same as an ANOVA, but with more than one dV. It's, it, it is an F test. So let's go to our choices here. There's a MANOVA. And a MANOVA global effects, that's basically a between group ANOVA. Plain and simple, okay? And let's pretend we have, um, I don't know, same same thing with the three groups. We've got staff, managers, executives. That's our IV called job position with the three levels right there. So it gives us a different effect size. You see that right there? That is, it looks like F squared. I can barely see it. But that's, again, that's Cohen's and... This is considered medium, effect size 0.0625. Critical alpha is always 0.05 unless otherwise stated. And that is a 0.8 because we're going to make it that way. We have this power. So again, the three groups, managers, staff, executives. And let's just pretend we had five DVs in this scenario. We'll change it to five, boom. And again, let's pretend there's job satisfaction, job commitment, all these different there's five different subscales that are all related somehow. It's supposed to be related either theoretically or correlated between a positive 0.3 and positive 0.8 somewhere in that neighborhood. So let's go ahead and click this thing. And it says we need a minimum of 135 if we have five DVs. So let's see if we got two DVs. How, how would that number look like? Oh, yeah, I went down to 99. That's pretty good. And let's say we had three DVs. Calculate it. 114. So it looks like it adds about 15 people per DV. But now let's see the number of groups. Let's change three to five. And it didn't. Oh, man, it barely changed it whatsoever. Okay. But that's how you do it. That's how you find the sample size, minimum sample size for a man overboard. That's it. MGZ out.